Hello SpaceX fans, we are back with another video for you to quench your thirst of all things space. So buckle in because we are going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we will be bringing you up to date on the most recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. It has been a busy few weeks for SpaceX. SpaceX has moved Starship SN16 straight from its Boca Chica, Texas factory to a nearby rocket garden, all but guaranteeing an early retirement. Built as the first of several planned backups to Starship SN15, which debuted a number of significant upgrades in April and May, it appears that Starship serial number 16 has been retired to a display stand after its only sibling became the first full-size prototype to successfully survive a launch and landing on May 5th. SN16 actually reached its full height before SN15 lifted off and was more or less complete by May the 10th. Since then, the prototype has remained more or less untouched, seemingly waiting for SpaceX to decide its fate in lieu of the Starship SN15's major success. Ultimately, with SN16 now sitting side by side with SN15 at what will likely become a sort of open air SpaceX museum, it appears that the company has made up its mind. Given that SN16 was quite literally completed within days of SN15's launch and landing, it seemed an almost foregone conclusion that SN16 would fly. For a few weeks, it even looked possible that SpaceX would attempt to reuse Starship SN15. However, SpaceX appeared to decide against reuse and rolled out its first flight-proven full-size Starship from the pad to a plot of land expected to host a future garden for retired SpaceX rockets. Now let's talk about the significant progress SpaceX has made towards its first true super heavy booster, BN4, which has made it to the launch site. A few days ago, technicians installed 29 Raptor engines on a super heavy, known as Booster 4, at SpaceX's Starbase site, near the South Texas village of Boca Chica. And now, the company rolled the 230 foot tall, 70 meters Booster 4 from its build factory to the launch site, a few kilometers down the road. SpaceX will soon start subjecting Booster 4 to a series of pressurization and engine tests. If all goes well with those trials, the rocket will be poised for an orbital launch attempt, which could occur within the next few months. Super Heavy is the first stage of the Starship, a fully reusable two-stage transportation system that SpaceX is developing to carry people and cargo to the Moon, Mars and other distant destinations. NASA recently selected Starship as the crewed lander for its Artemis project, which aims to establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the end of the 2020s. The final Starship spacecraft will have six Raptor engines, and the final Super Heavy will likely be powered by 32 of those engines, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk has said. The booster will launch on an orbital test flight in the coming months, if all goes according to plan. SpaceX's first true super heavy booster has made it to the launch site. Starship's upper stage is a 165 foot tall spacecraft that is also known, somewhat confusingly, as Starship. The final Starship spacecraft will have six Raptor engines and the final super heavy is eventually expected to use between 29 and 32 Raptor engines as standard when it's completed. The booster measures 230 feet in height and 30 feet in diameter and will be used to launch SpaceX's Starship spacecraft, a fully reusable transportation system for interplanetary travel into orbit and eventually to Mars, which is Musk's grand target. Starship spacecraft prototypes have been launched before. This past May, for example, a three-engine vehicle known as SN15 flew to a maximum altitude of 6.2 miles and came down for a safe landing back on Earth. SpaceX performed engine tests last month on Booster 4's predecessor, the 3 Raptor Booster 3, but no Super Heavy has gotten off the ground to date. Booster 4 will change that if all goes according to plan. SpaceX plans to launch the rocket topped with the SN20 Starship prototype from Starbase on an uncrewed orbital test mission. Shortly after the launch, Booster 4 will splash down in the Gulf of Mexico, about 20 miles offshore. SN20 will power itself into orbit, complete one loop around our planet, and come down in the Pacific Ocean near the Hawaiian island of Kauai, about 90 minutes after liftoff. Next on the agenda for SpaceX was the first static fire test of Super Heavy's booster BN3. 
SpaceX has successfully conducted a three-engine static fire test on the third iteration of its Super Heavy booster, one of the key components behind its ambitions for interplanetary travel. The testing at the suborbital site will clear the path for Booster 4, already being stacked in the high bay, to take up residence in the Orbital Launch Site, or the OLS, an area that continues to undergo preparations, including the installation of the final section of the launch integration tower. It was a timely breakthrough for Elon Musk, who has watched on as his spaceflight rivals Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson have seized the limelight in recent weeks. SpaceX is preparing to launch its Starship spacecraft on an orbital test flight, according to tweets from Elon Musk. The private space company hopes that the Starship represents the future of its missions to space, taking humanity to the moon and beyond. But first, it must undergo a series of tests to ensure it is safe to launch and carry people. As of when exactly this beast of a machine will be launched into space, Elon Musk said that he is pleased to have the Starship placed on top of the Super Heavy by the end of the month, with a launch the following month. In a virtually unprecedented feat of engineering and rocketry, SpaceX appears to have installed a full 29 Raptor engines on Starship's first flight-worthy Super Heavy booster in a single evening. SpaceX looks eager for its orbital launch, as after accepting delivery of five new Raptor engines earlier the same day, Super Heavy Booster 4's first Raptor rolled out of one of SpaceX's Starship factory tents around 6pm CDT to form what would become a line of engines awaiting installation. One by one, Raptors were rolled out of that tent, and by 5am CDT, an incredible 25 engines had been spotted and installed on Super Heavy. Come shift handoff around 6 a.m., 27 Raptors had reportedly been installed in 12 hours. The two remaining engines likely joined them an hour or two later, marking 29 high-performance rocket engines installed in just 12 to 14 hours. With a whole lot of good news, there is some bad news too. The Federal Aviation Administration warned Elon Musk's SpaceX in a letter two months ago that the company's work on a launch tower for future Starship rocket launches is yet unapproved and will be included in the agency's ongoing environmental review of the facility in Boca Chica, Texas. SpaceX has conducted multiple short test flights of Starship's prototype over the past year. However, the company needs the FAA to complete the environmental review and issue a license to take the next step in the rocket's testing. It is unclear whether Booster 4 and SN20 will fly, even if the duo sail through all of their pre-launch checkouts and tests. Logistical roadblocks may yet keep them grounded. For example, the US Federal Aviation Administration is performing an environmental review of Starship's launch operation, and we do not know when that will wrap up, but SpaceX will no doubt come up with a solution for that too. With this, we have come to the end of the video. Congrats on having such a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are for future ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.